Every day, the battle begins the moment my eyes open. Thoughts of scarcity, lack, and security flood my mind. The weight of financial obligations, the uncertainty of my housing situation, and the looming legal battle with my ex-wife, it all feels overwhelming. But today, I decided to fight back. I started my day listening to my life vision script. It's only three minutes long, but those three minutes set the tone for my entire day. Next, I go right into Bob Proctor's Abundance Meditation, something I've committed to for 30 days straight. Day 14, the momentum is building. I can feel it in my heart. An elevated sense of love, peace, and gratitude. It's almost tangible, and it shows in the way I interact with others. Even at the laundromat, while washing a comforter stained by my daughter's accident, I find myself in a harmonious conversation with a stranger. It's as if the universe is aligning things in my favor, one small interaction at a time. Despite the challenges, I keep moving forward. My workout went well today. Squats, bench press, barbell rows. Progress on all lifts. It's proof that even when life throws curveballs, I can keep pushing forward one rep at a time. My landlord let me know yesterday that he and his realtor are coming tomorrow to list the place. The uncertainty is unsettling, but I keep my energy high, clean the house, take care of my responsibilities, and stay focused on what I can control. I spent three and a half hours with my kids at the trampoline park and then took them out for pizza. It was a blast until I backed into a cement light post, <laughs> cracking my bumper. My 10-year-old son found the situation amusing at first. He laughed, excited. Even though I asked him to leave it alone, he kept bringing it up. I lost my cool. I yelled at him to stop, to shut up. It's not something I'm proud of. Him and I have talked before about not laughing at the misfortunes of others. But in that moment, I just reacted. A few minutes later, I apologized. I told him I was sorry for losing my temper and that I love him. And I called him a few hours later to apologize again, recognizing how I let my emotions get the better of me. But instead of letting frustration take over, I chose gratitude. Something better is on its way, I told myself. And I believe it. That reaction, it's evidence of a paradigm shift. From believing that things happen to me, to knowing that everything is happening for me. This shift, this mindset is what I want to share with you. Today I kept my vibration high at love and above. And despite the chaos, I feel a sense of peace and purpose. And I want to help you achieve the same. If you're tired of feeling stuck, if you're ready to break free from your subconscious patterns holding you back, you're ready to join me on this journey. Download my free Success Hypnosis MP3. It's designed to help you reprogram your subconscious mind for abundance and create the life that you desire because you deserve to live a life of love, peace, and prosperity no matter what challenge is coming your way. Everything is happening for you. Keep your vibration high. Jack Monroe.